Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and it's time to go through the rankings for this week on the ATP and the WTA. We've had some massive changes to the ATP and WTA finals race. That's only happening in a couple of weeks' time, so every match this week, especially for the WTA, is crucial. Let's go check out the past results, though, because we had some big winners last week and some new career-high rankings for those winners. Jumping over to the women's side first, and the Kremlin Cup, a big tournament, the WTA 500 event. And we had Contivate beating Alexandrova in the final. Final 4 6 6 4 7 5, and that helps Contivate get very close to qualifying for the WTA finals, which we'll talk about in a second. And at the Tenerife Open, Lee defeated Osorio 6 1 6 4 to win her first WTA title, and she also got a boost in the rankings. Heading over to the ATP now and the Kremlin Cup for the men, Karatsev. He won another title this year, defeating Chilich in the final 6 2 6 4. And Yannick Sinner continued his great form in 2021, pushing towards the top 10. He won the European Open, defeating Schwartzman in the final 6-2, 6-2 and both Karatsev and Sinner got a boost in the rankings after this week. Alright, let's start with the ATP rankings for the week and no major changes with Djokovic staying at number 1 Medvedev at number 2 City Pass at 3, Zverev at 4 Rafa stays at number 5 Rublev at 6, Berrettini at 7. The Dominic team, he's dropped down two spots to number 10, losing 500 points after not playing this week. And that's just the start. He'll lose a lot more points in the next couple of weeks, which allows Rud and Hercatch to reach career high rankings. Rud at number 8, Hercatch at number 9. The Dominic team rounds out the top 10. Having a look at the ATP finals race, the race to Turin. And again, no major changes this week just because a lot of the players didn't play that are already qualified. That'll change this week. With Djokovic staying at 1, Medvedev at 2, City Pass at 3. Zverev at four, Rublev at five. They have all qualified for the ATP finals. And so has Matteo Berrettini. He is at number six. He is now qualified for Turin, which means there's only two spots left for those finals. At the moment, we've got Rud. He's at number seven. Hercatch at number eight. And after a good week last week, Sinner, he goes back up to number nine, pushing Nori, the Indian Wells champion, down to 10. So things are starting to heat up. It's very close to being complete this ATP finals race. But a couple of big tournaments this week and, of course, Paris next week. It's going to be really, really crucial that players like Nori and Sinner do well in the next couple of weeks so they can get those last two spots and also for Hercatch and Rud to keep those two qualification spots. Let's have a look at the players that have gone up in the rankings this week and Yannick Sinner. In the main rankings, he's gone to a career high number 11 in the world after winning 250 points at the European Open. He's gone up two spots higher than last week and Karatsev. After winning the Kremlin Cup, he's gone up four spots into the top 20 for the first time in his career. And number 18 in the world, he is at a career-high ranking as well. And we know Sinner's in the race for the finals. He's very close to qualifying. But Karatsev also, with a good week last week, puts himself into the conversation as well. So watch out for both these guys in the next couple of weeks. Players that have dropped down in the rankings this week, Federer. He dropped out of the top 10 last week. Now, he's dropped down to number 15 in the world. Four spots lower than last week, and he's still got points to defend over the next couple of months, so it's going to be interesting to see how far Federer falls before the end of the year. And Dimonor, he dropped down six spots, number 32 in the world, which means if he doesn't win a couple of big matches or get some good results over the next few weeks, he's going to be in danger of not being seeded at the Australian Open. So Dimonor, he's got some points to make up, but Federer, he continues to fall. Let's go have a look at the WTA rankings this week and no major changes with Barty staying at world number one after announcing that she's not going to play for the rest of the year. But she stays at number one, wrapping up the year-end number one ranking as well for the third time in a row. Sabalenka stays at number two, Pliskova at number three, Krejcikova at four, Muguruza at five, Svetlina, she stays at number six for now, Sakari at seven, Jabor at eight, Bencic at nine, and Numa Osaka, she rounds out the top 10 for this week. All right, having a look at the WTA race to Mexico, and things are starting to get really interesting because Ash Barty, she has withdrawn from the event, so the world number one is out, which means some players have already qualified and getting into these WTA finals. So she's pulled out, meaning she drops out of the top 10 completely, allowing Sabalenka, Krejcikova, Pliskova, Sviantec, Sakari, Muguruza, Badosa, and Jabor all to go up one spot. And after a great week last week, Conservate, she goes up five spots, taking the number nine spot. And with another good week this week, she could steal a WTA final spot. And Nemo Osaka, she's at number 10, but she is not playing next week. So she will not add to her points and will not make the trip to Mexico. But only a couple of players now can actually make it to Mexico. But with Barty pulling out of the WTA finals, four players have now qualified for Mexico. Sviantec, she's qualified. Sakri 
also qualified. Muguruza as well and Badosa have all qualified, meaning that only one spot is left up for grabs, and that is Jabor, who stays in number eight. But Conservate, as I said, if she has a good week this week and Jabor has a poor week this week, that could change. So Jabor needs to win a couple of matches this week to stay in that top eight. Contivate needs to win a title this week again to get into that finals race, unless there's someone who withdraws, which means Contivate might be able to sneak in. But it all comes down to the last week of the season, which is very exciting. Having a look at the players that have gone up in the rankings this week and Contivate. We've talked about her a lot this week, but she's gone up six spots to number 14. That equals her career high ranking at number 14. So with a good week this week, she could get to a career high ranking next week. And Lee, after winning her first WTA title, she's gone up 12 spots to a career high ranking of number 48 in the world. Players that have gone down in the rankings this week, Tormo, she's dropped down three spots to number 37 in the world. And Sloan Stevens, she's gone down four spots to number 63 in the world. So there you have it. They are the rankings for this week. Not too many changes in the top 10 of the normal rankings, but the race of the finals. The ATP and WTA finals, it's happening in a couple of weeks. And some big names pulling out. Of course, we already knew Rafa has pulled out of the ATP finals race, but also Barty pulling out of the WTA finals race. Give some chances to some other people. Let me know down in the comments below. Who's going to qualify? Two spots left for the men, only one for the women. Who's going to qualify for the finals? in a couple of weeks' time. So big changes to the finals race with the final week of the season for the women happening this week as well.